Rafael. Perhaps more than any other, bravery is the defining trait of U.S. Coast Guard Alaska's search and rescue crew. And we look for them and we find them before we rescue them. Which is why it's no surprise eight-year-old Andrew Bishop chose this mission. Andrew was born with schizencephaly, a neurological defect. He went straight into foster care. And the neurologist was like, don't take him. He's going to be just so hard, so much hard work. We truly felt um, it was a blessing from God. TJ and Stephanie Bishop adopted Andrew, and as a family, they've pushed forward. Andrew is nonverbal and non-mobile, but he's never let it hold him back. He plays sports. He swims with dolphins. He is up for everything and ready for the next adventure. Go! It's only fitting his favorite movie is The Guardian. So when the Make-A-Wish Foundation offered to fulfill Andrew's wildest dream, he knew what he wanted. I'm like, really? And that's pretty much how this thing took off. Andrew asked to come to Kodiak and become a Coast Guard rescue swimmer. What went through your mind? Got to do something good. Put that on like that. How's that look? Huh? <laughs> Day one in Kodiak begins at a Coast Guard pool. Good luck today. It's hard training. I don't think you can do it, buddy. Andrew will learn how to save lives in ocean swells. Rescue swimmer Kaola Marfil leads their eager recruit through the drills. We're going to do one more of those, and then it's time to rescue people. Andrew sets the pace. <laughs> unfazed by the chaos around him. Kick, kick. Look at you. You're so fast. Kick fast. Kick fast. He insists on swimming extra laps. Oof, that blew my mind away. I expected him to have fun, but he did not stop. That's how you earn a spot in this unit. One, two, three, yeah. Got to smile for these pictures, all right? Andrew Bishop. After the pool, Andrew receives his fins. Way to go, buddy. He's officially rescue swimmer 946.5. Let's go check this one out, see how you like it. You ready to do it? And from there, his search and rescue team wants to show him the equipment. And they control how the plane flies. Kayola and Cody Dickey are trained to meet people on their worst day. Here we go. But today, they gently guide Andrew through one of his best. Uh, you having a good time? Good. That brings tears to your eyes. All right, you ready to rock and roll? You ask him anything, he's, he's nodding his head yes, smiling, and he wants to. He just wants to go and do it. The next morning, fun and games end. Make sure that we have all our flares. Because Andrew is now on duty, and the wait is short-lived. <laughs> oh, that's SAR alarm. we got to get ready. Let's go fly. we got to save some people. Andrew and his team make their way to the helicopter for his first rescue. You ready? They board and then they soar. Eight miles away, they drop a line to an injured man below. Don't worry, it's just rescue swimmer Joel Sayers. They pull him in and head home, where a crowd is waiting. There he is! Attitude equals altitude, and he's got a great attitude. As Andrew lands, Coast Guard commanders welcome their rescue swimmer home. First case, right, good one. Nice job, guys. He's proud, he's proud. That was awesome. That was hey, cool. Probably one of the best moments of my career. I just want him to go with a full heart. Hey, hey, hey. You see your hey. Yes, he did. Andrew proudly tells his mom what happened in the sky. His team saved a life. Yeah. Um, and lifted several more along the way. Been pretty mind blowing. Um, apologize. Seeing his dreams come true is everything. One more mission accomplished in a life journey, just taking flight. I don't think we'll be able to top this, but um, he's got a lifetime ahead to find out. In Kodiak, Alaska, Gabe Cohen, Como News.